What's going on guys? Welcome to another Dokkan Battle video. My name is Recycled and Hero and tonight, not the me. This is finally over. 26 hours we waited. Now that we can finally get back into the game, I thought I would kind of continue the tradition of a video we did last week or the week before where uh, I kind of show you the team I use to get through Ultimate Clash for level three. Levels one and two, you know, not really not really worth showing so I what I did is I played those already and I'm, I'm gonna pick up right on level two where um, I'm sorry I've done level one and two we're gonna jump into right into level three show you the teams I've used for it by now most people know the trick you know kind of the, the, the what to do to beat the levels but um, it's something I like to show just in case you have any questions or just kind of curious how a team performs I have done this uh, this ultimate clash one time uh, without recording it I did just brute force the Jiren, but uh, it came down to my final attack or two, so it was a little close. So we're actually gonna do it the right way and lowering his attacks, hopefully have a little bit smoother of a run. Maybe we fail horribly and it's all recorded for internet fame forever. So we'll see how it goes. Um, probably not gonna, I, I kinda wanna do this in a separate video, maybe tomorrow or the day after once I have a chance to really dive into it. But you know, the chain battles in here now, the link levels, um, you know, the, the TLDR from what I can see so far is for the link levels, the more stamina an event takes, the higher your chances of increasing the link level. And the higher the link level, the uh, the lower the chances of it gaining a level. So kind of the general consensus from what little research I've done so far is pick a level that's like 23 stamina, um, that has a lot of battles in it, because it's not just about the boss battle, it's about every kind of battle on the map that, that happens in there as well. So uh, I think Tiger said that um, the stuff coming from Truth and everyone was at like stage 23.8 is the best one to do. I haven't dove into it myself personally, so I can't say from personal opinion. However, I would trust everything those guys have to say anyway. I don't think anyone's gonna lead us astray. So uh, 23.8 is, from what I hear the best one to do. I don't know if I'm gonna spend a ton of time like just grinding levels to grind levels. If I, I think I'm just gonna kind of play the game and as I naturally get levels of the teams I use, cool, great, awesome. If I don't and I need it for, you know, an SBR run or the extreme SBR that's probably right around the corner, then I guess I'll focus on grinding it. But I'm not making it a huge priority to like max out everyone's link levels. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of let it organically happen. But without further ado, we'll jump into the ultimate clash here. So like I said, we are um, we are already on level three. We're gonna start with the Boo because the Boo, uh, he is the one that he, uh, he regenerates like two million health a turn. So you just, he, you can stun him. Um, you can blow through him if you have enough damage. Uh, but the fun thing about him is he's int. So we all get to use everyone's probably favorite character right now, the uh, good old SS Vegito, who, who attacks like five, six times a turn, no big deal. So I <laughs> don't think we're really gonna need to stun him or do anything crazy like that. But um, yeah, we'll, we'll just kind of jump into it here and get it out of the way. Uh, this is the team I used the last time I beat him and it wasn't it wasn't overly difficult. So I don't foresee any problems here. I, I don't really think we're gonna run into many issues until we get to the Jiren and, and see how it goes. Oh yeah, I forgot the new pass. I, that screen's so cool. I mean, it's weird, it's such a little things that do it for you, but it's just a nice touch, you know? It's a nice little, uh, a nice little add-on. So we'll go ahead and just grab this. We'll grab that right there. And then we'll give you this one. I probably could have gotten the chocolate out of the way, but you know, oh well. And so we don't get a counter attack here, unfortunately. He actually did a lot more damage to my Vegito than I thought he would. But, you know, he just comes <laughs> four, six, eight million damage. No big deal, no big deal. He's already got Boo down to half health, and he's got some counter attacks coming. So we only got two, or only got one additional, which is kind of unfortunate, but we did basically just one-shot this Boo with Vegito. Um, we did, actually. Um, I know we had to finish him with a super attack, but we took him down to zero HP. So there you go. I mean, if you've got a Super Saiyan God Vegito, uh, and you've got him Extreme Z Awakened and everything, Boo shouldn't be too much of a problem. It does also help that mine is rainbowed because then he does all the extra, all the extra fun damage. All right, we'll just knock these other ones out real quick. 
I don't really think these guys do anything crazy. I don't remember. I, I think one or two of them may stun or may super attack twice in a turn, but uh, nothing super unheard of. So I think for you guys, I go you two as my leaders, yeah. And I, I just I just, bring can I just like the candy Vegito, you know? It's just so much fun. Um, <laughs> it's just great that it's a card in this game, and his super attack is a blast. So he's immune to being stung. I just, I, I really like that passive skill screen. I mean, talk to me in a few months if it's been around for a while. Maybe I won't like it as much, but I think it's a nice little touch. Um, I I don't know if I miss having the text there or not because I can never really read the text, but at this point it's kind of, you know, everyone's kind of got the text all memorized, so it shouldn't be a big deal. We're going to do this. We'll put GoBros on the back end. Uh, and then I don't want to do this. Not a really a way to get you much, but I can get you guys a super attack over here as well. See, Andy Dodd, it's just, it's just, it's one of my favorite moments from the anime, just because it's so silly. Um, you know, he turns him into candy, and the thought that he's so powerful that it just doesn't matter, he can still whoop Boo up, it's just great. It's just great. Speaking of Boo, you know, the, the consensus is that we've got a Vegito coming for the 350 download celebration. Like I said, I don't, I, I try to avoid spoilers. I like to be surprised in this game when stuff comes out. Um, excuse me. But, you know, with, with the icon changing and the, uh, the, the tweet they put out four days ago, um, you know, I, I, it's probably all but confirmed. So one thing I'm not sure of with the passive skills right there is why didn't um, why didn't Frieza and Goku's show up there? I've got to look into that. I, I'm not. I don't know offhand. Um, and it's something I gotta I gotta look into and, and figure out because, as I've said a few times here already, you know I I I'll watch like some videos from Truth and Nano and all them, but because they mainly play JP side, I. I kind of stay away from them because, again, I like to, you know, I like the experience to surprise myself. But um, this is one reason why I do like I like Tiger a lot too, is because he plays global as well. But I try to shield myself in this day and age of you know following Dokkan tubers and everything from as many spoilers as I can, especially if something pretty hype is around the corner, because um, I want to experience that. You know, I I really wish Global and GP were on the same um, the, the same version, so we got to experience everything together, but I guess even then you kind of know what's coming because of the V-Jump scans and everything, so I guess it's uh, impossible to be truly surprised in this game. They just kind of, out of nowhere, just you know drop something crazy on us. Um, I actually took a lot more damage there than I thought I would. I just thought of something, doesn't Candy Vegeta, doesn't it recover with Candy too? It doesn't matter, but I, just, I don't know why I just had that thought pop in my head, but I did. All right, we'll give you that. You can go ahead and take those. And then that. Ooh, Turles is actually hitting me a lot harder than I thought I would. It would be really bad if I failed this. <laughs> because it would basically nuke the entire video in the purpose I put it up. But um, just because I'm an honest man, I would still put my failures out there for everyone, all two of you to point at and laugh at, but, you know, it would be enshrined forever. Does Candy Vegito finish him? I don't think he does. Wow, this was a lot closer than it should have been. I wonder where I went wrong. Uh-oh. Yeah, we lose. Oh my god, the clutch dodge. Okay. Um, <laughs> we're going to cheat here and just use the active to get out of this one. I don't know. I, I don't know where I went wrong there. Uh, maybe I just, because I was talking, I just wasn't really paying attention to what Turles was doing and where he was attacking and who was getting supered, but... Yeah, that was that was as close as how my uh, my first go with Jiren on this latest virtual class was. It can't... Oh. oh no, we've got an ad. No, don't do that. Oh, it didn't play the next song. That's why.
I apologize, guys. Sorry about that. That'll be a fun meme for later, right? Okay, well. I just have the, uh, the Dokkan, like, OST soundtrack from YouTube playing as background music, and it's never played an ad before. So, that's new. That's new to me. He can dodge a lot, I think. And that's what makes him very annoying. I think that's what he does. Um, no, it's not. I always think, I don't know why I always think that Janemba's one of the leaders. No, it's, it's Boo, right? Yeah. Boo in the cell. It's also 11.30 my time, so it's rapidly approaching my bedtime, so brain function is not as high level as it should be. I feel like it's an ongoing excuse for me in my videos, but I do record these like the last thing I do before I go to bed so that they can upload and do all their YouTube stuff while I'm asleep. Um, so yeah, sometimes I'm a little, a little groggy, I'm a little out of it, not paying attention, and we have mistakes like me almost dying at Turles, and then you get in a YouTube ad. So, yo, know, welcome, welcome to the channel. Okay, let's go ahead and just get these attacks out there. I really, I did like, I got lucky. I really did on that Rosé. I did like two or three summons, I think, on it. Cause I, I really wanted the Broly Chili and um, I'm blanking on the third guy. But, got, you know, I got the Rosé, so I'm not going to complain. But if you were like, hey, pick one of them, I would have taken the Broly. Just because I think his pass is really cool. I think, you know, the idea of being able to pick different orbs based on different things you need is a, is a pretty cool concept and one I hope that they kind of implement more um, I feel like they, they maybe can't to the degree where you know everyone has it obviously but you know maybe if this game didn't have types for cards like maybe you know your strength orbs do more damage or your AGL orbs maybe you dodge more things like that could have been pretty cool and that wasn't the LR metal core was it hmm yeah, I wasted all that entire orb path on him. But oh well. Life goes on. We'll grab these. And we'll grab those. And watch him dodge all three supers, because that's just how my luck is. He likes to dodge my Janemba when his passive's up. But he didn't that time, and Janemba shows why he should have dodged. I still That Janemba holds kind of a special place for me because you know I like I said, I try to avoid spoilers and stuff, but it happens when I'm browsing Reddit or, you know, watching the YouTube videos. But I, so I knew Janemba had this crazy easy end, right? Like just made him like the best card in the game for, for a TUR. And, you know, we didn't get him on Global for so long. And I remember being so excited when we finally got him. I went and actually like spent coins or, or Baba Treasure to get my first copy because I didn't even have one yet. Um, so yeah, it's just that, you know, not... I'm not knocking Vegito, but that's why just the um, the Janemba, I kind of, I just, it's more sentimental value to me because it took longer and it was harder for me to get. Okay, so we're up against strength. So we need AGL. Yeah, and this, this team, <laughs> I mean, basically anybody that has to face AGL is just done. Like, I don't, I don't really know what you could do. I guess you could make it so that they, like, can't dodge. They have crazy high defense and crazy high offense. And, you know, you could make it challenging, sure. But Super AGL is just nutty. It's, it's just so crazy, all the cards they uh, that they, they put on this one that can do all the things it can do. Who do I want to start with here? Yeah, I don't want to. Okay. I'll we'll go ahead and do this. Yeah, we'll just we'll just throw it this way. Uh, but does I don't I think that means I can't give my Goku a super because I want those rainbows for Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So we'll just eat that right there. Oh, I did math wrong. What I should have done is taken that with the Goku and then given the Super Saiyan 4 Goku the one AGL orb. Um, because then, you know, they all would have had a super attack, but for some reason I thought I could get the Super Saiyan 4 Goku, his, uh, his, uh, his 18 key super attack. And as we all see here, I, I did not, so I mathed wrong. Math is not my strong suit. It's not what I studied. It's not what I got my, my degree in, so 
you'll see some math errors here a lot of the times. <laughs> a lot, if I'm just being honest with you. Okay, but you know, that Goku's fine. He, he's not going to get hit for a lot. He could have done more damage, but you know, a lot. Right? But the world keeps turning and we, we keep collecting these Dokkan arms. No big deal. Oh, we're already up to a 15 minute video. I legitimately thought I could get this done in 10 minutes. 10 to 12 minutes was my goal. I guess I spent a few minutes talking about uh, the, the new update and stuff, which kind of skews my timing a little bit. But yeah, I legitimately thought I could get this done in 10 to 15 minutes. Okay, we need to... Uh, I feel like we need to kind of hide the Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Do we have... No real way to do this. No good way to do this. Man, I'm just... The orbs are not falling in my favor right now. Yeah, that does that. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, well, I guess we go here. I don't really want to give you all those, but I have to. Kale and Califlo are really my seventh spot. That's that's unlucky. I have them there. I would have I would have loved to have the two percent for Vegeta there, but you know. Thanks, Dokkan. <laughs> and if you guys saw my last video, I did pull the uh, the new STR. Um... Khalifla. Sorry, I just... I just blanked on her name. Um, I didn't get the... Uh... Oh, but he's got... He... Okay, I'll take it back. I didn't get the other other new card. I can't think of that the uh, Weez's sister's name right now. Like I said, it's late. I'm sorry. But I didn't pull her. I didn't... I, I did... Just need someone you saw in the video. That's all I wanted to do because, you know, 350 is right around the corner. Kind of see what's going on with that and uh, make our plans from there. So let's just do this. This should be fine. These will drop. And that should give me those tech orbs right there. For how long I've been playing this game, which... Uh, I started... I think I started right before the the Broly movie came out. I'm still terrible at understanding how the orbs like drop and relocate and stuff. I'm I'm, I'm atrocious at it. Like I've actively tried to like learn it and get better at it, and I just I can't. Like it just does not stick for me. It's just like learning what all the summon animations are. You know, obviously I know like the Wii's one or the uh, Grand Zeno stuff like that you know the the fusions but when it comes to the characters flying in I always forget what like who means what like does the 17 and 18 flying together does that mean a guaranteed feature or three SSRs like I just it doesn't stick for me so that's why my summon videos are always a little fun because I'm I'm mentally making my best guess and, uh, I don't know what's going on here a little scared Okay, there we go. Alright, so now comes the Jiren fight, which if, if you didn't know what the trick is to the Jiren by now, uh, it is I want super. Uh, you go with, with, with characters that do attack low rank. No, you're not. You don't say that either. So, I forget who it's going to be for these guys. Uh, lower attack. I want super. I don't think I have anyone in, in strength that lowers it on a passive. Just you two. Do I really want to bring that Gogeta though? We'll find out. <laughs> we will find out. I have a feeling I'm gonna get absolutely whopped. Um We'll bring yeah, we'll bring Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta as well, because he can tank for a while. I don't, he can't stun him, so we're not gonna get the crits, which is not what he's really here for. Okay, so. I think this is what we do. I don't really want you to go too ham on it. Because, you know, I just want your 18. Okay, so, I'm not really worried about you supering. I need to get Weezes off, so. Uh, we have to save that key for him. 12,000 on just a, a normal attack, no big deal. 
No big deal. Well, that means Weeze is getting supered. Oh no. Oh, this is gonna hurt. I was really hoping it would super the Vegeta. Okay, he dodged. Whew. Okay. Now, I always struggle with your passive. Okay, that's what it is, but I don't think this is going to be a painful turn anyway I go. I think we do that. No, you know what? We're going to put... No, 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 no. I want I want Goku. I was saying, Jiren seems to super pretty early in the turn, so we're going to roll the dice and hope he, uh, hope it goes for the Goku and the Goku dodges because we need it. Uh, no, no, I want those rainbow orbs for the other Gogeta. Because that's an extra 21% on his attack. Twenty-seven. ouch. But he didn't super there, which means we're probably in for a pretty painful turn here. We will probably lose a quarter of our health this turn. Would be my guess. This Jiren has so much health, man. Does anyone else notice that, like, I just did, like, 2.4 million and I took off, like, 90% of a bar? Is it just me or does it seem like the when they get less bars, they seem to drop off quicker? Does that make sense to anyone? Because I, I feel like that's what happens, but I can't be the only one that's seen it, you know? Okay, so, oh man, we got, we got a lot going on here. Uh, we'll just give you that. We'll give you these. Okay, that got your ultra. Um, yeah, we'll just, we'll just give you those two so we, we get a little more strength, or a little more, uh, yeah, strength key, whatever, uh, down there in the bottom corner for someone. I was going to say, after a super or two, that Vegito does just fine. Uh, with the exception, the supers still hurt from Jiren. But we've been pretty lucky this run. We've only had the one? And Weez dodged it? And we've gotten two or three turns of... Or two or three attacks of attack when we're in on him now? So... I mean, he's still going to hurt, but it's not like... I He normally hits me for like 100 to 120k. Which, which is a decent amount. Okay. Um, I don't really want to roll the dice and having uh, uh, you know, tanking. I feel like that's going to end very, very poorly for me. So, I'll do this. Although having his, um, having his. Attack reduction might not have been a bad idea, but I just, I, I don't know if he would have dodged two attacks from Jiren. Maybe I should have done it. It was going to sting. Okay, so when I said 100 to 120, I was a liar. It turns out he hits me for 145 after having his attacks lowered. But I guess he hits me for a lot more than I realized. But the fact that he's not going to super our Goku here is is pretty big. Because that would have hurt. Hopefully Jiren uh, dodges this next attack as well. Yeah, okay. So I guess I just got to leave Jiren or Lee's up there dodging. Okay, we'll go ahead and get the, uh, the active out of the way. I'm still trying to figure out a way, by the way, guys, to capture my game and get you the audio. I, I just, I know there's a way to do it. I just can't figure it out. I'm, I'm dumb. <laughs> it's the best way I can put that. Okay, I think we do this. And I think we just, we just go all out here. You only need two, so we'll give you that so we can get all those bank orbs for Vegeta. If it gets to our Gogeta, a Gogeta in the back, though. We might be in trouble. We might run out of health before that happens. 
or you know, just supers them, or not supers, crits them, and bye bye. All right, so that's level three down. Uh, that was definitely a smoother run. Still a little dicey, but uh, I, I kid you not, it came down to either that super was going to kill him or I was getting killed. So I had a little more breathing room there, which is great, but apparently it made the turtle somehow more difficult. But that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for, for hanging out with me and, and watching it. Um, as always, any questions, any comments, put them below. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, guys, have a great night. I'll see you later.